Here is the Grove. It's a typical day here at Ole Miss, and on game day, it's just packed with fans. As if higher education wasn't enough, 80% of the senior graduating class is putting an extra effort into higher education. Last semester, you could come outside and find a group of people smoking underneath the smoking tree. With the university smoking ban in play, you don't see that anymore. Now you can't smoke here or anywhere else on campus. But lodging is still considered to be an issue. Now I've talked to the local Chamber of Commerce who has notified me that they've posted up a name of locals who are willing to rent out their house to anyone interested. And you haven't already registered to vote, but you need to do what these people are doing right now. Come to the courthouse, bring a photo ID. The deadline is this Saturday, October the 6th. But I've been inspiring to become a cartoonist or a graphic novelist since I was little. Robert graduated from the University of Mississippi in May 2012 with a degree in graphic arts. Unfortunately, through intensive job searches, it wasn't enough to land him a job in his degree. Now he works at Office Depot as a copy print specialist. Uh, it's discouraging, but you know, you just gotta be thankful that you do have a job because I've heard stories of people who have PhDs, which are higher degrees that don't have a job. Well, I've been looking for a job for since February of this year. And uh, I probably put in 30 to 40, maybe 50 applications. I mean, everybody's staying or they're just not hiring people. College education isn't cheap and many students leave school with hefty debt. Each year, more students graduate without a job and many people are beginning to wonder if a degree is worth the price. While you're in school, it feels like, yeah, because you cannot struggle no more. But then after school, it's like you're not getting a job, so it's like, it's like school is like the system is putting you automatically in debt. Ole Miss students has the opportunity to use the Career Center, whose goal is to prepare students for the job market. We post jobs that are off of the campus, uh, you know, within the uh, Oxford community. And then they can come in and they can see what jobs we have posted. They can either uh, come into the Career Center and look on our bulletin board that we have out there or they can uh, actually access our career uh, websites, career.olemiss.edu. Uh, we also do mock interviews here, and that's really important for uh, students who are going out and about to uh, practice their interviewing skills. We can do it in-house uh, with the career counselor or with graduate assistants such as I, uh, and then just give them a kind of a dress rehearsal before they actually go in. Those interested in the services may find the center on the third floor of Martindale. I'm Leslie reporting for Newswatch. Uh, uh, well, how do they know which ones are the soup ones? That's complicated. They probably have two different. It ones. is a pain to constantly have to take care of yourself, and I have like little fits where I just don't want to do it anymore. I need a job. Adrenaline feels the same as if your blood sugar was low, and um, that's that's horrible. I hate it. Last night, when I got home from play practice, my pump site ripped out, and so I replaced it. And then I went to bed, and then at 5 this morning, I woke up because it ripped out again. And so, um, I replaced it again. But when I got the second period today, I just felt really, really sick. Like, I thought I was going to throw up everywhere. People just, when you say you have diabetes, they're like, well, you're not fat. Well, no. If I had to eliminate it from my life, I would never do that because I wouldn't be who I am because of it. I hate when the doctor does it. I'm always like, can I do that myself? And they're like, oh, of course. I just didn't think you would. I was like, I do it all the time. My overall dream, if I could change anything, would be not to have diabetes. Um, I usually don't say that because, I mean, it teaches you to, like, appreciate life. Because a lot of people live with things so much more worse. Do you fight him? Don't fight him. Vote for me. I make sandwiches and I'm on Facebook. <laughs> There's a new hotel coming to Oxford. The Oxford Planning Commission approved plans for a hotel next to the Oxford Conference Center off Sisk Avenue.
Town Place Suites, a division off the Marriott International Hotel chain, will be owned by Chan Patel. found out that the University Museum was hiring a museum educator. It looked right up my alley, so I applied for that too. And I was offered that position, and I took that position. When we see something, take for instance this model right here. Light reflects from an object, and like the yellow star you see, it sends an image to our eyes. In the process of seeing something and thinking about that object, it projects a shape and color and sends the information to our eyes through our lens and retina to the right side of our brain as an upside down image. That image is a representation of what we are looking at. 